Good evening, everybody, and welcome to The Steven Factor. Tonight, it is a political pinheads. As you may know, on Sunday night, um, there was a final Democrat candidate debate with Monterey, Clinton, and Sanders doing a little bit some negative things about the income taxes, the education, the economy, the ISIS, and you know, of stuff. Also, the state of the reunion, and especially what's happening right here in New York City. Now, I cannot do this alone, ladies and gentlemen, because I have a buddy, Martin Roches, and I are talking by phone, and which means it's time for another edition of Pinheads of the Week. Connecticut debate. Here it comes. What's up? Hey, Mar, how you doing, bro? Yeah, good, good, good. How hey, was uh, pretty good actually. Um, just same old, same old crap. So, whatsoever. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, Martin, you're in the Steven Factor right now. So, say hello, everybody. Hello, 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 everyone. Yeah. Nice to see everyone again tonight. Yes. Now, Martin, you and I, I don't know what to say this, but when I watched that debate, I think this field was completely uncomfortable, scary, and they look like the next Republican 2.0. What are your thoughts about that, man? Yeah, last night's debate, it, 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 let's just say it was not good. Okay. It was not good at all. Tell me all about it. Well, we have three progressive liberal candidates, and I, you know, Stephen, I, I, I'm I'm disappointed at Hillary Clinton. I, I'm disappointed at Hillary Clinton. I mean, she, I thought she's got this moderate, centrist, want to stay in the middle, but then all the progressive activists want to move her to the left, so she listened. She wants to move to the left. And I think that's unfair. I think you have to stay in your position as a centrist and moderate Democrat. And unfortunately, she's now moving to the left. And, and um, yeah, so I'm, I'm very disappointed at him, at her. Uh, I'm disappointed at Bernie Sanders and Martin O'Malley. They're not doing anything to persuade the Democratic Party. You see, that's what I had to call you about, Martin. Now, those Democrats have become creativity into stupidity. And also, they're nothing but the total pinheads whatsoever. Now, um, when I watch this debate, but when I look at it, I think this this debate is not an easy debate. That was a, a total criticism negative activity debate. Last night, it was ugly, it was dark, and it was for the stupidness. And let me tell you reasons why, Martin. Let's talk about the raise, the rages here. Now, Hillary and Bernie are going head to head each other, like, like salt and pepper. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now they say they want to rage for fifth. Raise the minimum wage. Yeah, the minimum wage. How much? Fifteen. Yeah. Okay. They want a fifteen dollars an hour, right? Yeah. Okay. They want to raise it and. And fifteen dollars an hour for a jobs, right? Well, the minimum wage. I, I, listen, you and I, Stephen, we all agree the minimum wage should be raised. Here in New York State, it's now at nine dollars an hour. Okay, okay. But let's talking about the income taxes. They want to raise them too. Yeah. Now. If they will raise more than income taxes, more than 15, 20, 35, we need to get enough jobs and we're also, we're out, we're out on the money. How are we going to spend? How the hell are we going to pay the mortgage? How the hell are we going to pay the bills? The food, the electric, etc., etc. If they shouldn't decrease the income, income tax, they should save 
a lot, I'll save a, a lot of money. Like less. Yeah. You agree with that? Right. 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 And you know what? What, what, what? what the Republican governor, John Kasich, the, the Ohio governor, is saying, he was in Congress back when Bill Clinton was president. Okay. And that was the budget. Okay. Let's go, let's go back to the 90s, okay, Stephen? Okay. I don't, I don't have the money to go back to the 90s. Okay. When Bill Clinton was president, okay? Okay. In the first two years of his presidency, he had a Democratic Congress, okay? Okay. They balanced the budget, okay? Okay. Then in 1994, the Republicans took over, and in 95, all the way through his end of his presidency, he had a Republican-led Congress. What did they do? They doing nothing. They balanced... No. Okay. You're wrong. Okay. You're wrong. Okay. They balanced the budget, okay? Okay. And what did they do? economy rose, oh. all right? They oh. boomed, all right? The stock market boomed, mm -hmm. okay? Yes, the, yes, Bill Clinton had a Republican-led Congress back in 1995, had a 15-day government shutdown that, that lasted into Christmas and into New Year's. Well, listen, after that, look, they work well together. Bill Clinton got Democrats and Republicans together. He got Republicans together, and, and I'm going to tell you right now, Bill Clinton... He had to be conservative, mm -hmm. okay, because he had a Republican-like Congress. Mm -hmm. So, even though he had that um, that scandal back in 1998-99, that Republicans wanted to throw him out of office, but he got along, Republicans got along with him, and they were passed major legislation like entitlement reform, uh, strengthening Social Security, gaining the economy, uh, passing free trade. All that stuff. And that was a great history. You see what I'm saying, uh, yeah. Stephen? Yeah, that was a great history. That's great history. Yeah. So, and then here we are, years later, two decades later, we have President Obama and a Republican like Congress. And here we are, President Obama. Even though he's a good president, but he's, he's, he's not a negotiator. And that's a problem. I know. The problem was the um, Obama's on the vacation lately. The government shot down um the government shutdown was completely kapoos because of John Boehner wants to shut down all the the health insurance, all kinda of stuff. People don't want to go and work tomorrow, et cetera, including New York. And Obama is is completely messed up. I know he got made mistakes, but I love Obama right now as a Democrat, but I'm sorry for today. But I think he's in the wrong place in the wrong time. Mm. He he was in the wrong place in the wrong time, and he didn't do this terrorism thing. I don't know what he's no. gonna. I think he's not gonna do with ISIS. I think somebody will gonna take over ISIS. It could be Democrats or it could be Republicans. Well, it could be uh, the United States allies. Because remember now, France is going after. Uh, ISIS, we have Great Britain that's going after ISIS. Exactly. So we have all these European nations going after ISIS. And what we have, President Obama? Nothing. Not doing nothing. Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Now, I think we're going to be on Fox News someday, but... <laughs> yeah, but um, I could do... We're going to do this the O'Reilly Factor. No, we're going to do this the Steven Factor. Um, I replaced Bill O'Reilly, all kind of stuff, so... Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah... Thank you for the history, man. But ooh, how how you how you learn all these stuff uh, listen, about listen, Bill Clinton era? How how you know all these stuff? Uh, listen, man, just go to Google and wik and go Wikipedia. And you see the years that he had. Oh. The years that he had. Oh, 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 yeah. That's that was great. Thank you for teaching that history. Yeah. Now back to the nowadays. Now we have the three Stooges: Bernie, Hillary, and. Morali, that's it. Morali. Yeah, Morali. Look, they do some stupid negative things. Yeah, they want to raise income taxes. They want wages for jobs. Let's talk about health care and gun control. Let's start with health care. How do they do the health care so well, Martin? Believe me, I say health care is too much. How's that? How's that? Well, we have Obamacare. Yeah. Republicans have they will repeal it, but the president is not going to do it. Mm -hmm. And I believe if the Democrat is on the White House, I believe they're not going to. 
to uh, to away Obamacare. Because all three of them support Obamacare. But the only problem is premiums are up. Mm -hmm. I think the only way to persuade Obamacare is by lowering premiums. And that's it. And let's talk about gun control. Now, now, Mr. President worries about the con gun control. And I think again, he was... Again, he was President Obama, once again, no leadership on, on gun control. He wants to sign executive orders mm. for gun controls. Uh, you know what? I, I, as much as I, 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 I stand on that side, but I also disagree with the President. When you go to Ma Martin, 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 listen to me, listen to me. When it's going, what, what if that Barack Obama will create his own bill, a gun control act? It's gotta be something to make a pass that bill. It'll be no gun control or even gun shows. I know gun shows might be inappropriate. It would be scared for little kids in case something will happen to all these schools. And 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 I'm very worried. Listen, as as a teacher right now, we worry about these kids, about safety, about violence, and we need to stop the violence of these innocent children. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, the only thing is, is to close loopholes. Oh. By the way, Stephen, there's a bipartisan mental health bill that's making a way to Congress. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah. Oh. That's a half bill, but the bunch is also part of a gun control uh, debate. Oh, please. Tell me about mental illness. That's, that's where people are getting them from. <sighs> because they don't think. And I believe the best way to start is by passing mental health. You, you know what? Those damn crafts are not above pinheads, man. Let's skip all of this. Let's think about ISIS right now. That's the most, more important thing that people are very concerned. And we was one of them, Martin. If they were presidents, I don't care who they are, all really these stupid three-ass stooges. What they should, if they were president, what should they going to do to stop ISIS before they're going to hit right here in uh, the U.S. of A.? Thirty seconds. You know what? Make that sixty seconds. This is your show. Get an authorization of war. That's what they have to do. Get an authorization of war. I send it to the president. So that he can put military boots on the ground. But the problem is, if he gets military boots on the ground, then it's going to cost you know, another Iraq or another Afghanistan. It's so back. To, it's back to square one over again. Back in two thousand and three. Well, there you go. I mean, that's, that's what the president doesn't want, sir. He doesn't want another costly war. And even Paul Ryan is exactly, uh, it was exactly right. Look, I love Paul Ryan, but you know Paul Ryan's look like Pee Wee Herman look alike. But he's on the state of the union. He's really very upset. No, I think mean, he's got that poker face on. Yeah. I just trying to learn from John Boehner. Yeah. I don't know. Body language. Now... Paul Ryan is absolutely, is absolutely right. Look, we really don't, you know, just personally. But, yeah, he wanted to ask the president to do this terrorism. But, no. Let somebody else to do the president, the new president, will take over ISIS. And that's what Bill Clinton said, right? Now, President Bush, okay, he, he did a very good job as president, okay? He didn't find Osama bin Laden, but as Bill Clinton once said, that he said let when when Bush's uh, presidency when when Bush's took over the office that the new president will continue search on Osama bin Laden and guess what? Boom, he's dead. Over it's all because to th thanks to this man, Barack Obama. He's the one who killed Osama bin Laden, and that was 2011. When I was a, uh, a part-time sub at PT69 and 67. What a history. What a wonderful history. Yep. Yeah, what a wonderful history. But let me I say... Know, I think I just said your own history. Wow. 
Yeah. Now listen, I really don't care what they've been doing, but the but but Hillary Sanders and Morale, they need to get their butts together and make a difference right now. This is no fun and games, but this is gonna be their last call. Somebody definitely needs to race go to the right house. And it's not especially Ted Cruz saying he's making fun in New York City. We're not talking about that. Screw him. But we need a new president which is smarter, sharper, and most of all, accurate and confident about the situation. I want Republicans and Democrats to come together just like the good old days. And we need and we need to put it America back together. And to make America great again. Get it? Yeah, yeah. I think we need to go back to that bipartisan good old days. Yes, exactly. But, but you know, all of the polls were raising up. I know Hillary is leading. And Sanders is leading too, right? They're getting close head to head. Say that again? Sanders is leading, especially for Hillary, right? Yeah, the two early uh, voting states, New Hampshire and Iowa. Mm-hmm. But you didn't know that Sanders is 74 years old, right? No. That's how old he is? Yes. Yeah. do you know? Just say, okay, Google, how old is Bernie Sanders? You can say the age, and boom, they will tell you. Wow. Yeah. But I did not know that. Uh, yeah, but I'm I'm not feeling like not voting for this year because I know some people say that that he's a socialist and they say so many negative things. This is a tough crazy world. Yeah, man, we're this, living in a world where it's Starting to get crazy right now. Man. This is a tough, crazy world. World. Let's talk about the economy right now. You know, Martin, the economy is completely bad shape. But Barack Obama did a very good job about this the economy grow kind of stuff. But if you're watching the debate, how do you feel about these candidates say some negative things about money? Well, they want to create jobs. That's what all three candidates say. They want to create jobs, uh, lift the wages, and um, and um, yeah, just create more jobs and make the unemployment go down. And um, yeah, just create jobs. Ugh, boy, I think we need some. Create jobs and. Uh, Hope that 2008 won't happen again. Yeah. Obama did a very good job. Yeah, I know. I, back. I really like that. I really like that. And, um, yeah, but, but what about the State of the Union? Um, how Obama's performance doing? I think he did pretty well. But the one thing was disappointing at him was that he didn't, Just give me one second. Just give me a moment here. And you know what? Just talk the whole thing, man. This is your show. I, I, I gotta say, uh, I'm, I, I, I'll sign for a while. Just give me one minute. Go, go ahead. Yeah, well, he, he didn't, he didn't talk about Iran, the American hostages down there. He's lucky those hostages are now free and coming back home. And um, yeah. You know, this North is... Korean. Mm. I, uh, North Korean. Put up those... Put up those, uh, dirty bombs. Oh, Lord. Yeah, it's a... Yeah, you, you know how Kim Jong-un, he, he... He wants to get attention. You know, that's a damn problem right now. You know what? I think there's no pieces in the puzzles right here. Because he shouldn't say... He shouldn't give out more details whatsoever. More freaking details. He needs to get more information. 
about the Iran, about ISIS, and everything. And you're absolutely right. I think I think Barack Obama doesn't give no second chance whatsoever. I I don't know, but I think that somebody's going to get the chance. To race for the White House and make this thing done. Yeah. And I love Barack Obama respectfully, but and um, Martin, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you save Obama? Um, do you save all the newspapers in 2008 with no. with Obama's no. face? Do you record the tape and stuff? No, no, no. You know, my family said to me, if you save uh, that Barack Obama, you know, it could save money, right? You, you well, yeah, well, yeah, well, that's what, you don't that's what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, you don't believe these stuff? That's what I'm saying, yeah. Oh, wow. All right. Now, um, let's go back to the State of the Union. Yeah. I, I hear you loud and clear. I totally agree with you how Mr. President is very miscalculated and makes some more details, man. And you know what, Mario? I think you and I, this war, we're going to end. But not this year. I mean, soon. Soon, it will. the war will going to end. Only God knows when this war is going to end. Because I'm very disappointed how the Democrats are not focusing right about this America whatsoever right now. People are very worried about this situation and they didn't get together whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah, but it's just been disappointing, but... No, it is a disappointment for me. I've been the Democrat since 2008. Hold on, Martin. This is my show. Anyways, now, I know... I know why I meant to say this. Since I become a Democrat, I know I'm trying to make things right. When I watch the news, they make some positive things about the Democrats. And now, a couple of months and years later, they try and say negative things about the Democrats. Because they've been lazy all day like a total jackasses. It is a primary season. Somebody needs to win this case. I don't care who wins. I don't care. It could be Bernie Sanders or Clinton. Or I don't care about Trump or Carson. It could be somewhere. Could be a good Democrat, a good Republican. You know what? Forget this, man. I'm not voting for this here. I'm sorry. I was sitting down do nothing. I could sit. I, I, I'm, I'm tired watching the news, man. I'm tired watching the news. All right, Mars. Say what you say. Sorry, I cut you off. Talk. No, no, no. I know you're passionate. I know you're passionate about this election year. Everyone's passionate. But I want to ask you a question. Are you going to vote this year? Of course. Super Tuesday. Well, unless the New York primary held on a Super Tuesday, yes. Election night. Who are you going to vote for? Who are you going to vote for? Tell me your thoughts. Who are you going to vote for? I don't care you about the way. Just pick the person that you like the most. You say you don't want you don't want to pick Bernie Sanders because he is a socialist. Why why you say that Bernie Sanders becomes a socialist? Do we need a socialist president? I don't think so. Okay, so why he is a socialist, Martin? Tell me why. That give me your thoughts about Bernie Sanders about the socialism. Oh, well, because because people think that he's a socialist and that he's from the left and so he make all progressive things when he becomes president. Just like Mayor De Blasio, correct? Yeah, and I have a funny feeling if he comes out with a Democratic nomination, he may pick Mayor De Blasio as his vice presidential nomination. I hope it I hope it don't happen, but oh, whoa, whoa, oh. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Somebody's going to take over his office someday, and the New York City's going to be messed up. But, uh, we didn't spoke to Mayor DeBlasio for a long time. How's he doing? Uh, he, he's, he's hanging in there. He's hanging in there. By the way, they just, he wanted the bad horse carriages, but 
he's not going to get it. Guess what? He, he cut a deal with uh, City Hall to reduce the number of horse carriages. Oh, no. I believe that. That should... I believe that's not going to go nowhere in the city council. So the horse carriages is over now? They're going to take him out of the streets and put him in Central Park. All right. I, that's good. Well, that's uh, not good because oh, that's what? What? I'm worried that jobs could be lost. Oh, no. You know what? You know what? I, I'm going to start. What? You know how many, how many horses are going to be reduced? Tell me. They're going to fall from 202 because right now there's 202... Um, Horse carriages, they're going to reduce it down to 78 carriages. Now that's disgusting. That was a total freaking disgusting. Holy shalupa. Totally disgusting. Yeah. Wow. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, I need to, uh. Okay. Let's go back to Bernie Sanders as a socialism. So you said that Bernie, if Bernie as president, he would do some progressive, progressive stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. But will he will fix the economy? All the time will tell. I hope. Will 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 he will fix ISIS? Will he fix America? Will he fix people? Will create more jobs, more mortgages, and everything? But I just want to re, just make it decrease the income tax. And since you texted me last night, Martin, that that was a good idea. Well, not raising the income tax is not a good idea. I think you should lower taxes. To, look, let's point out Governor Cuomo, okay? Okay. Governor Cuomo, as a Democrat, worked with the Republican State Senate as a Democratic State Assembly. Mm -hmm. What did he do? He lowered property taxes and he cut taxes on the wealthy and the middle income. And he lowered them. He do what? he do that for all New Yorkers, right? You know what? He shouldn't become mayor. He shouldn't have become mayor no. and send a so governor. What? Go ahead. He should have ran for president. But Hillary Clinton came in, and he endorsed her. Ew. But, well, I think, I think the governor had a little bit big mistake. Oh, no. Ew, there's going to be a little bit big mistake here. Okay, let's talk about Hillary Clinton. Do you love Hillary Clinton? We love her, yeah, I, I, personally. I, I like her, I like her. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, we like her personally, but... But in the debate, everything is not so very well. I think she's not very ready for becoming a president. That's my prediction. Uh, the, the only problem is, I don't, I, I don't know if I can trust her if she gets, gets into office after what happened to so those emails. Yeah, say all these bad things and say um, swearing, all kind of stuff. And Bernie Sanders says, I hate those damn emails. I was, oh my god, that was crazy. Oh my god. Oh my on my left hand. Ooh. Got a little bit of holding problems here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm afraid of that too. I know John Morales not gonna become president. He did a very good job by the way, but you know that's that's my prediction, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about to um the Republican side. How the Republican side doing over there? Crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy chaotic. Um, we're nearing uh, the, the, um, the primaries. Already we have Donald Trump, not surprisingly, winning. Oh, uh, he so he's lowering, so the so the polls are lowering down a little bit, right? Uh, well, he, he he's, he's winning, but it's, it's 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 closing the gap right now. Okay, tell me more. Well, and in, in Iowa we have uh, Donald Trump winning. Then we have Ted Cruz in second. Oh. In New Hampshire. Okay. We have uh, Donald Trump winning again, but we have John Kasich, the Ohio governor, who may.
David, I think you might you might want to watch out for John Kasich. I, he, he could be a threat. He could he could somehow win the nomination. Well, this I gotta see. This is gotta see. But I hope he's gonna do some positive things instead of negative. But I don't know because I'm very concerned about what Republicans are doing right now. Because some Republicans are very negative. And some of them are very positive. And right. and even some of the Democrats do the same thing. I mean, like, I don't know, but those Democrats are very confused me right now. But I think they need to get off their asses and get along with Republicans very well and fix this country right on time. Again, just like the good old days, Martin. Just like the good old days. There you go. This Democrat needs to start acting like a bunch of babies and start growing up like a grown ass man. But this is not an ordinary nation. This is Stephen Nation. And this year in 2016, we will give you a little bit of all recaps of what Stephen Nation is all about. And guess what? It is back, baby. Stephen Nation 2016. That's right. Part two is coming this year, and we will give a little bit of reviews and all kind of stuff. And even also, more, I'm still going to do a part of a uh, mania, the final chapter. But nobody's going to win yet. But do you watch the Today Show lately? These Tennessee families claim they won 1.6 billion dollars. So why the hell they came on Today Show without going to a uh, lottery office and even a uh, corner store to check their winners? Do you think that's reverse? Well, they need to go to first the lottery story. Yeah. Well, congratulations to to that family in Tennessee. But not actually winners. They just hired a stupid lawyer who doesn't know law and everything. Oh. Yeah. They went on today's show first. Because, remember, Savannah Guthrie said there's no announcement yet that will become who the winner is. There's just three winners in three states. You have to be careful, Martin. They're going to find the lucky winners, and that's it. It could be not for Tennessee couples. It could be somebody else. All I know, three states won the Powerball. Yeah, but only one lucky winner needs to come out and tell the truth. Okay, we're not talking about this jackpot right now because I'm sick of money and crap. I just want $4 last time, so. <laughs> I want a damn oh, jackpot. Man, and I want $4 Jesus Jesus Christmas. I mean, $4 of that shit on, on uh, jackpot number 10? Come on, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, so, anyway, the debate was weak. And they did a very good job. But it makes me want to vomit. So, that's it. That's it. We shall see what happens next. Alright. Alright, Martin, thank you so much, and I will see you later. Thank you. I'll see you later, too. Bye. And that includes Pinheads of the Week.